Yo, 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 this is DJ Rap and you're watching DrumandBassTV.com. Mm. First off, let me say that's an awesome set you played and happy birthday. What Thank did you, you think? You're welcome. What did you think about the energy down here in Nashville tonight? Um, I mean, I thought that I wasn't quite sure at first whether they preferred the harder or the mellower stuff. I mean, I think the energy can always be really big, but um, it was good. You know, it was good. It's good. Great. How long ago did you get your start in the drum and bass scene? Um, God. Well, those who are old enough remember that I started off in 88 and I started off playing Acid House, House, Hardcore, moving on to Hardcore, moving on to all these different things until drum and bass was conceived. Long time. Have there any difficulties for you to overcome being a woman in what's obviously, with drum and bass is concerned, a male-dominated scene? I think there's a, I mean, you know, it, I prefer not to go on about the fact about being a woman because really there's no difference. I mean, but back in the day there was a difference. You know, now there really isn't, and it's it's really down to how good you are. Um, and people don't really care whether you're male or female so long as you can deliver. But there's something nice about a girl playing something really nasty. I think that's kind of cool. But back in the day, um, yeah, there was a lot of things to overcome. I mean, you know, it was a gimmick to have a girl on there. I was the, uh, I wasn't the first female DJ, but I was the first to play the main room with the boys, and I would not allow anyone to put me in the back room so as far as that was concerned you know I had to overcome that and that became my thing that was my mantra I was like I'll play but I'll only play the main room so I kind of I was right. kind of I was kind of I guess I had a big mouth I just I wouldn't allow them to put me in the back room so that was my thing that was a thing I overcame um, and feel proud that I put that on the map right. and made that possible for other girls to follow because you know you'd walk into a rave and it would be the girl stuck in the crap room with the crap sound, <laughs> with the like, you know, playing the girly records, and I was just walked in, I was like, fuck that, you know, so. Are there any guys getting materially soon that you think are going to be the biggest and the best in the future? Are there any guys that are new producers, you mean? Right. like uh, that are fresh. Yeah, there's always fresh producers, um, you know. My personal favorite producer right now for drum and bass is... Um, Kevin Cunningham, I really love him. Danny C, of course, is already huge. Um, there's a lot of people, you know, that are really good. Uh, D-Star's really great. New guys up and coming on right. proper talent. Um, there's a lot of people, you know, in house music. Steve Smooth's my favorite producer. I'm not just saying that because he's my boyfriend, but he is. <laughs> um, I mean, in all genres of music, people are just kicking ass, really. So I think there's a lot of good music out there. I love it, you know.